guys and welcome to the family fudge and welcome to another episode of bunches of lunches but instead of sharing lunches this week i'm actually going to be partnering with hello fresh to bring you some fun and easy dinner ideas that your whole family will love so stay tuned Okay guys, so just a few things before we get started. Now I'm pretty sure you've probably heard of HelloFresh before, but if you haven't, they make it really easy to cook delicious, balanced dinners. Everything comes directly to your door in an insulated, recyclable box. I actually chose the family box, which means all of the meals are family friendly. And I really like that it comes with step-by-step -step instructions. So it's a really great opportunity to get my kids involved and teach them something about working in the kitchen while we make dinner together. For $30 off your first week of deliveries, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code FAMILYFUDGE30. Now on to my favorite part of the week, which is the shout out. This week is going to Mom Activity, who left me such a sweet comment on last week's video. And you guys, she has a YouTube channel. So I'll go ahead and link it down below as well. So go check her out. Now let's get started. Good evening guys, and welcome to Monday. It is about 5 p.m. and I have Jackson here helping me make dinner tonight. Hi. So tonight we're gonna be making the pineapple poblano beef tacos, which look really fancy. But of course we're gonna make it kid friendly, right? This is only going to take about 30 minutes and it comes with everything we need right inside of here. And I'm super excited for the kids to try our new taco holders. This will look fun, Jackson. Mm -hmm. So it's a little plastic dinosaur and your little taco can go here and here and it will keep it upright when the kids are eating them. So it'll be really fun. Of course, I'm going to do all of the chopping and Jackson will help me with everything else. So I started by chopping the onions, the peppers, and the tomatoes and Jackson helped by mixing them all together with some pineapple and some cilantro to make a yummy salsa. Then he also mixed up a sour cream sauce. Then I browned the beef with some onions, some peppers, and taco seasoning. Okay guys, now I just finished up with dinner. Jackson was such a good help to me. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. So here's what they were supposed to look like, and here's what we did with them. We made them super fun, right guys? Yeah. yeah! So we're using these little taco holders that look like a dinosaur. They just hold the tacos perfectly for the kids so they can put them down and they're not going to have to worry about making a mess everywhere. Are you guys ready to eat? Yeah! Now I did go ahead and put some sour cream on there. There's also some pineapple salsa, some extra, and a little lime wedge. You guys can squeeze the lime juice all of your tacos. That makes it extra yummy. And I'm also giving them milk. Does it look good? Yeah! Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and give Lily two, but she might end up sharing some with Griffin, okay? Okay, what's our rule? You have to try it. You have to try it at least once. If you don't like it, then you don't have to eat the whole thing, but you at least have to try it. Okay guys, we just finished up dinner, and I have to say it was tasty, but it was a little bit messy, right guys? Yeah. yeah. Next time, I definitely would drain the grease from the beef before I took the next step. So. The directions said that you could if you wanted to, and I decided not to, but next time, I definitely would. But other than that, I thought it was really tasty. The poblano peppers were not spicy at all. They were actually really mild. Right, guys? Yeah. yeah. So overall, I would say two thumbs up. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Good evening, guys. And happy Tuesday. Right now, I'm just getting started on dinner. It's gonna take about 30 minutes, and I have Lily here helping me. Say hi. Hi. So today we're gonna make the maple and mustard glazed pork chops. And I just unloaded everything I need from this nice little bag here. And let's see, there's gonna be a lot of chopping today, so I'm gonna do that, but Lily's gonna help build the salad, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. Check this out, you guys. This recipe tells you what to do, but it also tells you what you need before you get started, which is super helpful. So I know I need to get a baking sheet, a bowl, a large bowl and olive oil and all that stuff. So it's really easy to just follow the directions. So I started by slicing the potatoes and then Lily helped to add olive oil and salt and pepper. Then we got these into the oven. Next, we worked together to make the maple mustard sauce. Next, I went ahead and cooked the pork chops and Lily made the salad. 
Okay guys, so I'm just about to plate up the dinner. It is ready to go, but I wanted to give you a closer look at the plates because they are super fun. It kind of makes dinner into a game. So I'm gonna put one little chunk of food in each little section, and then there's also a place to put a treat so that the kids eat all of their dinner. They get to open up this little compartment and have their treat. How fun is that? So we have a princess version, and we also have a pirate version for Jackson. They haven't seen this before, I think they're going to love them. And I definitely think that the little treat is gonna help motivate them to finish their food. So here are the potatoes. They turned out really good, they smell delicious. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put one purple and one yellow, just like that. I really like the purple potatoes. I hope the kids like them too. Okay guys, here they are. Doesn't that look fun? Now for the bigger kids, I did go ahead and put a little bit more on their plate. So there's several chunks in each little compartment. There's also salad and of course the treat if they finish. In Lily's, I did put a little bit less because she normally eats less. But I wasn't sure if the HelloFresh meals were gonna be big enough to feed my family. But look you guys, there's still a lot left. So definitely if they finish their food, they can have more. Now for the mustard sauce, I wasn't sure that the kids would like it, so I went ahead and left it off. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on just some of their meat. That way they can try it, it's not on everything. Because our rule is they don't have to, they do have to try it, they don't have to eat it all. But as long as they try it, then I'm okay with that. Dinner's ready, come Yay. see. Mommy. Come see these fun new plates. So this one's Mackenzie's, this one's Jackson's, and this one is Lily's. So this is like a game. You have a little bit of food in each section, and then, so you start here, and you go around like this, and this is the end. So when you finish all your food, you get to the end, guess what? A surprise! But you don't get the surprise until you eat all of these things first. Okay. Okay, what do you want to drink, milk or water? Milk, milk. Okay, go ahead and take this to the table. Milk. Dinner time's over, and here's what we ate. They did really good. I think the little incentive totally worked. So what do you think about the dinner? It was super cool. What was your favorite part? All of it. I liked all, all of, of it. it. All of it? Very good. I see Jackson left a few little craisins and some pine nuts, but that's pretty good. And Lily left just one potato and one little piece of pork, so I did go ahead and let her have her treat, because that's really good for Lily, isn't it? Yeah. What did what did you add to your food, Lily? Salt. She added more salt. She thought it needed more salt. But they did really well today. Now I do have to say that Lily wasn't really a big fan of the mustard sauce. So I was really glad that I kept the kids' meat separate and I didn't put sauce on all of it. So that's a really good tip. Just go ahead and leave your sauce separate if your kids are a little bit on the picky side. And we'll see you for dinner on Wednesday. Okay guys, Kenzie and I just finished up dinner and it came out so cute. What do you think, Lily? It looks good. It looks good? Does it look cute with the eyes? Yeah. Now here's the picture that they sent. So this is how you might plate it, but if you wanna make it fun for kids, this is how I would plate it. So I just made each sandwich into like a little monster sandwich by adding the two little eyes. Doesn't that look cool, Jackson? Uh-huh. It smells really good. First up, we made some coleslaw. I started by chopping some green onions, and Mackenzie helped to grate the carrots. But you were really careful, right? Yeah. You gotta be really careful with those graters. They're very sharp. To this, we also added some cabbage, some sour cream, sugar, and vinegar. And then we mixed it up. Now you could, if you wanted, put this coleslaw actually on the sandwich, but I thought for my kids I'd go ahead and leave it separate because we have a rule, right? You don't have to eat it all, but you do have to try it, okay? So I want you to make sure to try it, and I want you to make sure to try the pickles as well, because Mackenzie and I made pickles to go along with this. How did we make them, Mackenzie? We got a cucumber, we diced them up, and then we put them in a bowl. Mm -hmm. And then we mixed them up with sugar. And vinegar. Yeah. And that's all there is to it. So I just gave you guys a couple. I still have a lot of pickles left. In fact, I also have a lot of coleslaw left as well. So there's plenty for mom and dad as well. And then we started on the sandwich, which was super easy. We just heated up the fully cooked pulled pork. Mackenzie helped me add the barbecue sauce and the ketchup and the seasonings. And then we just waited for that to warm up. 
Now I went ahead and sliced the buns and got them toasting in the oven. And then there it is. That's all there is to it. You guys ready to dig in? Yeah. Now for Lily, I probably will end up cutting hers in half just because that's a little bit uh, much for her. Okay guys, here's what they ate, or what they left behind, which is not a lot. They did really well. What'd you think, Mackenzie? It was really, really good. Yeah, I was really happily surprised that the barbecue sauce was not too spicy for the kids. It was actually really nice and mild. So Lily, what was your favorite? Uh, the cucumbers. The cucumbers were your favorite? Yeah, you, we never made pickles before. We should make them again, huh? Yeah. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good evening, friends. And welcome to Thursday night's dinner, which smells delicious. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. I've got just Mackenzie here helping me. Everybody else is busy playing and they didn't want to help, but that's okay. So for tonight's dinner, I went with a pasta dish. I started by cooking some regular noodles. I added some marinara sauce, some pre-cooked turkey meatballs, because kids love meatballs, right? Yeah. They're really fun to eat and really easy too. To that I also added lots of mozzarella cheese and I topped it all with some turkey pepperoni. And then I just stuck it in the oven until it was all bubbly and delicious. Now to go along with that today, I'm also serving a little side salad with spinach and some homemade ranch dressing. I got some nice big slices of cucumber and some garlic bread. Now I actually made this out of some leftover pita bread that we had. And I'm also serving some milk. You guys ready to eat? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys dig in and then of course we will show you what they ate or what they didn't eat when they're done. Dinner's over now and here's what we ate. You guys did really good today. Was it tasty? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The garlic bread. The garlic bread, yeah, that was pretty tasty. What was your favorite part, Jackson? Cucumbers and the milk. The milk, yeah. I think you guys did really well. See you tomorrow. Good evening, guys. We hope your Friday was awesome. Now, a lot of the times we like to do pizza night on Friday, but I have some leftovers, so that's what we're doing. I feel like the trick to serving leftovers is to plate it up really fun. So I have a lot of different items that the kids can add in themselves. So it's very interactive and DIY, so they can build their bowl themselves. Now, this is just some leftover taco meat that also has some black beans, some corn, I have some Spanish rice that I made, and I do have a separate video on how I made this. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But I went ahead and put the cheese on the side and also the sour cream so the kids can add it in as they want. And just for fun, I have a little sword with olives on it. Does it look good, Mackenzie? Yeah! Are you getting tired? Ready yeah. for dinner? Yeah. I'm ready for the kids to eat dinner and go to bed. So, here you go. Oh, this is yours. Thank you. And of course, when the kids are done, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, dinner time is over and here's what they ate or what they didn't eat. Looks like Mackenzie left a little bit of rice, but she ate all of her meat and cheese and sour cream. What did you think, Mackenzie? It was good. You liked it? What was your favorite part? I really liked the meat. Was it good? Yeah. Not too spicy? It wasn't spicy at all. Good. And Jackson did pretty good. He ate his meat, most of his rice. Yeah, you did really good, Jack. What did you like? Maybe you love was it harder to eat without your tooth? Jackson lost another tooth yesterday, so it was a little bit harder for him. But you did a good job. And Lily, what happened, Lily? Uh, I was just too sick. Yeah, Lily's not feeling so good, so she's not, she's not eating as much today. But overall, it's not too bad. She did eat some of everything. And we'll see you next week. And next week, we're back to making lunches. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing these fun dinner ideas. The HelloFresh box really made it quick and easy to make and to clean up, which I really enjoy. Let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite dinner. Also, don't forget, there's also a coupon code in the description box if you'd like to get $30 off your first week of deliveries of HelloFresh. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.